I love me a good dash cam. Love me a good dash cam. We picked up another one today, and this one was sent to us by a company called Blue Sky C. Blue Sky C. I like seeing these cameras that are coming out for the car that are dual cameras. So they have a camera that kind of faces forward, and then they got one that's shooting inwards, shooting at you. Kind of, kind of nice for a couple things. Great for someone that is actually like a Lyft or an Uber driver or a taxi driver or whatever because you can record what's happening in your car. That's fantastic. It's also important too because rear cameras, the ones that you would put in the back like on your license plate, can be a little bit of a pain to install. Like they, They're not that easy for anybody that's not mechanically inclined. Having something in the car that still shoots backwards, even though we may not be able to get things like license plates, we can at least still have proof that something happened behind us, which is good for those of us that just kind of like it for recording what's going on in the cabin of the car. Also good. Question is, what's the quality like? Well, we're going to take a look at that after we unbox that, which is happening right now. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the Blue Sky B2W dual lens dash cam. Blah, 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 blah. Infrared night vision, 1080p. Look at that though. 32 gig up to 400 gigs SD card. That's crazy. And uses a Sony Starvis sensor. I don't, I don't even know what that means if you do. That's awesome. One up for you guys. A whole bunch of things here. You guys can read if you so choose. I'll put a link to this in the description so you guys can go read it if you'd like to. But that's kind of what the camera looks like. We can go through some of these images. Dual lens, super night vision, 132 degrees in total, which is awesome. Oh, actually, what does it say? Easy horizontal adjustment. That's good because a lot of them, you know, they set that you got to kind of readjust the mountain stuff. So that'd be interesting to see. Uh, Wi-Fi and app playback. Cool. So it has an app. That's excellent. And two car mounts for your selection. Also really good. So suction cup mount and adhesive mount. Thank you. Because uh, especially for me, someone that tests these, and also for someone that may have two vehicles or more, you may not want to be using an adhesive. And I do know that a lot of these cameras come with just an adhesive mount, which means that I stick it on and now I can't reuse the mount because it's stuck to that vehicle. I do like suction cups. I do realize for the most part, the adhesives are probably a little stronger for the most part, but I'll take the suction cup. Thank you very much. Uh, review wise, one, one review. Giving us five though. Great dash cam, nice clear video, easy setup. Excellent, good, we're gonna validate that. Right now, okay guys, let's open this up. I need a knife, I need a knife. Okay, this opens somehow. So it's a nice box, I'll give it that. Nothing wrong with this box. And because it came from Amazon, comes through Amazon Prime, which makes the delivery nice and fast, which is always great. Uh, it does have a few things on the box here, just so you can see. Processor is a Novatech 96660, resolution 1080p 30. It's an MPEG-4 with a two inch screen, up to a 400 gig SD card, not included, be aware. Uh, it's a CMOS sensor, two megapixel, IMX307. If you guys care, you may not. There it is, Blue Sky, B2W, dual lens. Very cool. All right, what's in this here box? What's in it? So here we go. So first off, we're going to get the manual, it looks like. So there it is, installation reference. Oh, nice and simple. Oh, I like that. But look at that. Big, straight to the point, color, shows you how to do it. Loving it. Let's see, suction mount. That's what we're using. Yep. All right, and inside here, we get this camera, I'm guessing, followed by more styrofoam and all your accessories. So I'm gonna put these out and then we'll slowly just kind of put them back. All right. Oh, this did come with a little SD card. Look at that. You guys see that? 32 gigs, 32 gig card. That's all right. It says that it doesn't come with one, but this one did. So that's a win, I don't know. Uh, this, just so you guys know, I don't know what this is. It says peel this. What I think this might be is you put this on your windshield first, maybe, because it's like an adhesive. Peel this off, and then you could put the sticker on so the sticker doesn't go directly on your windshield, maybe? I don't know. 
Let me back in the box. I'm guessing in the manual, it'll have that. Oh, this is like another, what is that? That's weird things. I don't even know what that is. What does that say? Dash cam video. You put this on your window on the inside. So on the outside, it actually, it's like, you know, when you have like a security camera or a security alarm on your car and you're supposed to put this car is protected by blah, blah, blah. I think that's what that is. It just says there's a, there's a video being recorded. Don't screw around with me because I'm, I'm capturing the moment. Okay. And last but not least, we have the actual manual. Oh, uh, look how big those fonts are. Look at that. That's excellent. And it looks like this whole thing in English. So that's a good size manual, good size manual laid out very nicely. I may or may not use this. We'll find out, put that back in there. We also get, there's our suction cup mount, which I'm going to keep out because that's important. We get the actual, this is just a micro USB cigarette lighter style, 12 volt style. But here's what's cool. It has a extra USB on it. So my guess is if you have other things that you need to charge, that's, that's smart because I know for me, I have two things plugged in and here they are my dash cam and I need the ability to charge my phone right in there. That's, that's super smart. Well, well done guys. That's, I like that. You also get a standard cable, right? That's micro USB to USB. My guess was you could use this instead of the other one. If you didn't want to just maybe have your own cigarette lighter, 12 volt adapter and you just want to plug that in. Yep. And then here's all your little tools so that you can run the cables through all your moldings and stuff like that and tuck them in and stick them. There's also the little sticky mount if you're a sticky mount kind of guy and you, you want to use that. Last but not least, the camera. There it is. So this kind of just pivots, I'm guessing. Oh, it's yeah, so just it's tight, but it just pivots. So there it is. You can see that. There's all the little you gotta take these off because if not, you're not gonna get a good image and you're gonna be like, why is this camera is no good, but it is good. I don't know if it's good. We're gonna find out. And for me, added bonus, my car, blue. Especially on the inside. Look at these, you see those? These little blue little accents on there? Oh, I like that. So what's cool about this, this would face out and you can kind of see, this is the outward facing camera. Can that spin? Yep, see, so it spins. You can get it lined up just perfectly if you so choose. This is the internal one and the internal one has the infrared cameras and again this can swivel which is nice so you can go in there that's going to be facing you because the camera is going to be sitting like if this was the window if this was the window the camera is going to sit like this right so you can see you can see this screen this is going to point you this is going to point back very cool and i don't know what this power this button is i think this is it says it says warning on it so maybe you would tap it to lock the image if you so choose on the side there's your mic you can add a GPS to it. Doesn't come with one, just so you know. Here's your USB. And on the front, your mode button to go in to the menu and stuff like this. This kind of goes through it. Play, pause. You're okay to validate what you're doing. This also has a little screen protector on it. I'm going to leave it on on this one for now. And we are going to head out to the car. Try it out. We're going to, I'm going to actually try it out. I'm, I'm heading off soon. It's daytime out. And when I'm coming back, it will not be daytime. It will be nighttime. So you'll be able to see both. So stay tuned. Coming up right now. All right, my friends. So we're in the car. It's a little rainy outside today, but we've got this hooked up. And uh, like I said, we're going to be testing it right now. And we're also going to test it later on when we come home. So you'll be able to see what the uh, camera that's pointing outwards as well as the camera that's pointing inwards is doing. All right, guys. We will see you guys back in the studio once I get home.
guys, so we're back in the house. You guys hopefully got a good chance to see what the footage looks like coming out of this camera, the Blue Sky C B2W dual lens dash cam. From watching it, I'd say it's actually really good. Nothing wrong with it. It seems nice and crisp, clear, 1080p. You know, can't complain too much. I do really like the way that it mounts with the fact that it has multiple adjustments so that your front facing, rear facing, as well as its ability to pivot on your windshield to get it exactly at that angle that you and I want so that these cameras can see where they need to see. I think that's really good. This mount here, just so you guys can see it, this mount here, you just kind of slide it so you kind of just kick it and you pull it backwards and it pops off. Suction cup mount, which is what I use, same idea. You just, there's a little like notch right here and that notch just fits in. It only goes one way, so make sure the notch is closest to the hole and then it slides over and it clicks into place. Super simple. I use the suction cup again because I wanted to be able to take it off. All right guys, hopefully the video samples speak for themselves. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment down below. If you own this one, leave a comment. If you're looking at buying one, there's a link down below. So everything's covered. All right guys, we'll leave you there for today and uh, more videos coming soon. All right my friends, talk to you then.